everyone welcome back again to another of my video please if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and give my video a thumbs up so let's get down to this so in today's video i'll be showing you how to tidy up your edges in a very simple manner with no stress so i have three fabric here which i cut out which i'm going to be using to demonstrate what i'm going to tell you so today i'm going to show you three ways three simple ways so i will start with this first so let's say this is your fabric and you want to tidy up the end of the uh, fabric so what you simply do is this you simply always make sure you uh, you you measure it out so get your measurement right measure the bottom of the, of the fabric this way this is half an inch so you just measure half an inch if you want to take one inch you can take one inch it depends on your choice so you measure half an inch up again this way so i'm going to roll it out so you can see i've measured at my half an inch so now i'm going to take it to my sewing machine so now you can see this is the half an inch line which i drew out so i'm going to be bending my fabric like this you see the way i bend it like this then i bend it at the exact spot where i draw the line so now i'll stick it under like this my sewing machine then I'm going to start stitching. I'm just do it slowly. Then I'll start stitching it close to the edge. I'll bend it again. I'll start stitching. It's very close to the edge of the fabric. You can see that I stitch it close to the edge of the fabric. So the next thing we're going to do here is take your iron to flatten it out completely so it's already done like this nice and easy so i'm going to show you the second method which you can use as well so this is the second method which i'm going to show you for example let's say this is your edge of a fabric which you want to tidy up especially for the bottom part take your your tape measure first of all you measure half an inch then I roll it out straight half an inch here half an inch then I'm going to roll it out so now I'm going to take another half an inch again mark it out together you have one full inch so this is a comment what I'm going to do here you see the way I'm going to fold in the first half an inch then I'll fold again up again you see I is double folding to cover the edge and I'm going to stitch all through alternatively you just mark at one inch and fold it twice so I'm going to start folding I fold again on that half, half, half an inch I fold again to meet the other half an inch then I'm going to fold again 
see so i'll to move it around like this the lines that i mark are serve as a guidelines for me especially this method is good for all beginners so with this line i'll get my right measurements I feel like it to me the last half an inch that I know I have my right measurements. If you don't do it this way, you end up having one side of the edge of the fabric longer than the other side. So it's always better to measure out what you are going to stitch. It's very, very important. So now I'm going to stitch now. I'm going to stitch close to the top, the edge of where I fold it. I'm going to stitch down. You can use this method to tidy up your edges of your fabric so it will not come out like this. So, this is the second method. The second method I'm going to show you, that one is very easy. So, before I forget, you take your iron, you use to press it down so it can be very flat. So now let's go over to this third method. So now I'm going to show you the third method. So like I always said, I only measure out my allowances which I'm going to stitch from. But in this method, I'm not going to stitch. But it's very important you measure out your allowances which you are going to start to tidy up your bottom of your edges. So yeah, I measure out one inch. Yeah, like so. Then I measure under half an inch again. So it depends on your choice. <coughs> this is picking chairs. <coughs> Excuse me. I bought this from uh, Amazon, and you can use this method also to tidy up your edges. So I'm going to start cutting it. So yeah. If I decide to make my to start my cutting of my fabric to tidy up from a half an inch, and I'll cut on the line of my half an inch. So you see, when you measure the allowance which, which you are going to cut from, your fabric will come out accurate and on the same length but if you don't make sure at your allowance which you are going to cut from you one side of your fabric will be longer than the other side and you don't want that so you can see how it looks like you can see how it looks like you see the way it goes like up and down this will not make your fabric be like this so you see if you don't tidy up your fabric this is what you get at the end thread coming out see so that's why it's very important to tidy up your fabric to stitch it properly and you can use this, the three method but me now i'm using this method at the moment using my picking chairs to tidy up my edges i find it very easy for me to use but you can use this for home use if you want to use it for your customers, let's say you are making clothes to your customers, you use the other two methods which I showed you. So, my dear friends, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe and share my video. So, for now, one peace, one love, and bye for now. Bye for now.